It is one of the biggest days in college football. We're talking about National Signing Day. The first Wednesday in February where the best players in high school football get to decide on the dotted line where they want to play their college ball. For the Oklahoma Sooners, this is one of the best recruiting classes we've ever seen, and that's saying quite a bit considering the success of Bob Stoops. This recruiting class, even though I know there are no present five-star players on it, has more four-star commits than any school in college football. 18. 18 players that can make an immediate impact for this Oklahoma Sooner team. By the way, of the 26 players that Oklahoma has signed on the dotted line, 11 of them are already enrolled in Oklahoma for the spring semester. That means these 11 players can play um, spring football and can get valuable experience, valuable knowledge, and have that advantage entering August two-a-days. So to get nearly half of your class already enrolled and eligible for spring football, you can't say enough but say, wow, that helps. Let's go ahead and talk about, first of all, those um, players who are already enrolled in Oklahoma for the recruiting class of 2017. We'll begin on the defensive side where all four are four-star players, okay? These defensive players already enrolled in Oklahoma, Justin Broyles, six feet even, 175 out of John Marshall. Um, he had verbally committed as early as March of last year and will play a corner position that, remember, Oklahoma last year showed that they were very vulnerable, did not have a lot of proven depth in that position. So, you know, Justin Broyles, to get him early, to get him in spring football, valuable big time for the Crimson and Cream. Following three defensive um, um, early enrollees, linebackers, okay? Two of them on the outside position, talking about Addison Gumps, maybe the most valuable of the bunch, number 65 player in the country overall, and number nine linebacker in the country too, um, out of Hayward, California, 6'4", and 220 pounds. Don't be surprised if he is a true freshman and not redshirted. The other outside linebacker, the Oklahoma guy, as far as an early commitment, was uh, Kenneth Murray out of Missouri City, Texas, 6'3 and 215. Of course, we know that Jordan Evans occupied the inside linebacker position that was very valuable, but now has run out of eligibility. The good news for the Sooners is that Levi Draper had committed to Oklahoma as early as December of 2015, and he enrolled early as well to Oklahoma for the spring inside linebacker out of Collinsville, 6'3", 222, one of the best defensive players in high school football in Oklahoma the past couple of seasons. He played in the Class 5A state championship game just two years ago. So those are some early um, commitments right there as far as the defensive side. Now, as far as offensive side, who are already enrolled in Oklahoma, uh, we'll begin at quarterback with Chris Robinson. Robinson at 6'2", 192 for Mesquite, Texas. Um, he decided to come to Oklahoma even though he knew that Baker Mayfield will be back for 2017. Uh, Oklahoma, of course, already has Austin Kendall and Kyler Murray, who didn't play last year because of the transfer rule coming from Texas A&M. So at least, you know, after 2017, uh, you've got a real proven uh, position at quarterback that you'll have at least three players trying to earn that starting spot from in 2018. So Chris Robinson um, signing on the dotted line to become a Sooner early and getting already enrolled with the uh, Sooners. Now let's talk about running back. We're talking about Trey Sermon, six feet tall out of uh, Marietta, Georgia, 215 pounds. Remember, no Joe Mixon, no Samaj P. Ryan, both um, making their names known for the NFL draft. So we'll see if uh, Trey Sermon uh, can be involved in that running back rotator mix. And then wide receiver position, a guy I'm pretty excited about, Marquise Brown, 5'11", 170, blazing speed out of San um, Clarita, California. And then a couple of tight ends that the Sooners have added to the roster, even though we already know that Mark Andrews is a proven player um, these first two years for Oklahoma. But it never hurts to have more depth in any position, especially at tight end. And we're talking about Jeremiah Hall, a, a tight end out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And again, Oklahoma going to the California route in Grant Calcatera at 6'4 and uh, 207 pounds. By the way, Hall is also at 6'4. So plenty of height there for the Sooners at tight end. And then um, talking about center Creed Humphrey, 
another local product. This one out of Shawnee at 6'4 and 301 pounds. And all-purpose athlete, uh, Marcellius Sutton out of uh, Warsaw, North Carolina, all-purpose player. Also signed early with the Sooners or committed early and is now in uh, spring semester for the Sooners. So you have 11 players right there, 7 offense, 4 defense, that are already Oklahoma Sooners in terms of enrollment. Now, we mentioned the verbal commitments. They are all official in terms of signing with Oklahoma today. Of course, the one exception was last week. Already knew about Jacob Phillips, who was an Oklahoma Sooner until he flip-flopped, decided to go to uh, LSU, and Ed Orgeron, a five-star commit on the defensive line. No question, a player that Oklahoma thought that they had kept, but then um, you know sometimes that happens. Sometimes you get those uh, switches, just like Robert Meacham a few years ago out of uh, Booker T. Washington. Looked like Oklahoma had him, and then signing day, he waited later to the last minute signing day, flipped to Tennessee, but then we remember Ryan Broyles, who was committed to Oklahoma State, and then signing day uh, flip-flopped to uh, Oklahoma. Now, Talking about the verbals, um, again, they're all signed. Let's go ahead and begin on the defensive side, players that we'll see this fall, and that will include the safety, uh, Robert Barnes, out of South Lake, uh, Texas, South Lake Carroll, at uh, 6'3", 194. He's listed as a safety, but can play wide receiver, and hey, with Oklahoma needing um, help at wide receiver, uh, losing several, of course, including D.D. Westbrook, the best receiver in the country. You know, having Robert Barnes along, maybe they could use him both sides of the ball. Might remember his dad, a former Sooner in uh, Reggie Barnes. Now, speaking of secondary, corner, you've got Trey Brown from the state champions in Class 6A Division One for Oklahoma, the Union Redskins. Trey Brown has been a uh, commit for a while for the Sooners, but he made it official uh, this morning, 5'11", 175. Incredible coverability, great speed, great athlete, Trey Brown. And uh, speaking of Trey's and at cornerback, Trey Norwood. And this is something that will probably blow your socks off, okay? The first ever Bob Stoops commit from Arkansas. And that's hard to believe because the states border each other, and Stoops has been in Oklahoma about 18 years, and he's never had an Oklahoma, a, a Sooner signee from Arkansas. Trey Norwood out of Fort Smith, uh, 5'11", 170. And if you think that's small, hey, he was even smaller the year before and put on about 20 pounds thanks to a protein program and also, too, his speed, incredible, just under 4.5 for the 40. So Trey Norwood, a, a corner out of uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, defensive line, which the Sooners have heavily addressed uh, with the new signees, and we're talking about um, Isaiah Thomas, not to be confused with the former NBA great and the current Boston Celtic player, Isaiah Thomas, 6'5", 230, out of Tulsa Memorial. You'll notice that there are several commitments from the state of Oklahoma for the Sooners in this 2017 class. And then uh, we're talking about uh, uh, K. Jackery Daly, um, a defensive end, 6'4", 215, out of Riviera Beach, Florida. And another defensive end, talking about uh, Troy James, 6'4", 220, out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So they soon as went into SEC country and got themselves a defensive end out of, um, of Cajun country. And then a couple of uh, defensive tackles that we need to mention too, uh, Tyrese uh, Lott, Tyrese Lott, 6'3", 265, out of uh, Ardmore. So, again, another in-state player committing to the Sooners. And um, Zacchaeus McKinney out of Weatherford, Texas, a big body at 6'5", 280. Incredible explosiveness off of the line. And he's a guy that could make an immediate impact uh, for the Sooners, uh, Zacchaeus uh, McKinney. And you know what? Maybe things will work out for the Sooners and special teams. Not to say that Austin Seibert has been an unreliable player, but if – you could get him to commit to just kicking, then this guy at punter might be the answer right there. And you can see him, uh, Reeves, out of New Braunfels, Texas. So we'll see how that works out if um, the Sooners have a full-time punter to go along with Cybert, the full-time place kicker. And then finally, talking about the offensive uh, signees who are not early enrollees for the Sooners, uh, talking about um, some players that could make a big-time impact. And we're talking about Kennedy Brooks out of um, Texas, six feet even at 197, and he'll play the running back spot. And again, Oklahoma needs all the help they can get right now 
out of the, the running back spot with the losses of P. Ryan and Mixon. And then offensive guard Tyrese Robinson. This is a big find for the Sooners, 6'4", 310 out of uh, McKinney, Texas. And then Marquise Hayes, another offensive lineman that could really provide help, 6 feet, 6 inches tall, 335 out of Missouri. Another offensive lineman for the Sooners, um, Adrian Ely. And this might be one of the biggest commitments for the Sooners on that offensive line side. We're talking about 6'7", at uh, 282 out of Gonzalez, um, Louisiana. So another Louisiana player committed to Oklahoma. And talking about some other players that could help out too, uh, we're talking about Sidurian uh, Lamb, number 72 player in the country, a wide receiver out of uh, Richmond, Texas. And finally, another Texas commit, uh, Cedar Hill, Texas. Sooners will gladly welcome uh, Charleston Rambo at uh, 6 feet 2 and at 170, plenty of speed uh, for him. And this is a guy that, you know, we're talking about, again, a receiving unit in Oklahoma that's already going to have a new look to it with no uh, D.D. Westbrook, just to name one for the Sooners. So now you get Lamb, now you have Rambo. you got two receivers um, who can figure into the rotation for Bob Stoops. And last but not least, Ryan Jones, all-purpose athlete, 6 feet 2 and 208 pounds out of Charlotte, North Carolina. So that's your recruiting class for the University of Oklahoma. Breaking it down state by state as far as where the players are from. Nine of them are from Texas. Usually Oklahoma recruiting classes will have more Texas players than anyone than any other state. Six from Oklahoma. Pretty good representation. Three from North Carolina. Two from California. Two from Louisiana. And one player from Florida, Georgia, Arkansas, as well as Missouri. As far as how Oklahoma has done as far as recruiting versus the rest of the Big 12, Oklahoma easily number one, Texas a distant second. And talking about how Oklahoma has done versus the rest of the country, of course, Alabama number one in the country. That's nothing new. And just depending on what service you look at, the Sooners are as high as number five or as low as number eight. And there is one more name of intrigue out there, but he is not announcing where he's going until this afternoon on February 1st, we're talking about Marvin Wilson, the number two overall player in the country, number one defensive lineman out of Houston. He's narrowed it down to five schools, Ohio State, South Florida, LSU, Florida State, and Oklahoma. Again, he'll be making that announcement around 3.30 Oklahoma time. I'll try to put an annotation on here saying where he committed. And not to say that Oklahoma doesn't have a shot at him because he's one. Of, he's listed Oklahoma as one of his five schools. Um, in recruiting, I can just say this, you know, expect the unexpected. Just expect the unexpected. If Oklahoma can land him, wow, this might be the best recruiting class that Bob Stoops has ever had. So that's my look at the Oklahoma Sooner class of 2017, one of the best that Bob Stoops has ever had and players that, again, can make an immediate impact right now. Thank you very much.